Hello everybody, I'm Jay Leonard Jane. Today we are checking out the Twin Boost by OPFXS. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a transparent boost on the page today. And when I say transparent, I mean it is crystal clear, not a lot of character, it's incredibly neutral, it's incredibly low noise, and it has a lot of power that it can send into your amplifiers. Now, the brain of this thing is analog, but it is digitally controlled. And that's where the magic of this pedal really comes into light. You have different preset modes. You have a step mode to make it move up by increments and have it swell in and swell out. You can also go stereo with this thing and have it send different amounts of boost to different amplifiers. So you can see how something like this can be very, very useful in your rig, especially the fact that this is MIDI controllable as well. So you could definitely integrate it into your sound. What I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to show you how all the different modes in this thing works and like how to get the most out of this pedal and hopefully you can find a really neat place for it in your rig. Let's dig in. <laughs> So I got myself a Grez Mendocino baritone guitar, gorgeous stuff. And because it's called the Twin Boost, we're gonna go stereo today. Take advantage of those uh, two channels, right? So the way I'm going stereo is I got a Skylar Reverb. It has a stereo out, so I'm going TRS into the in. And then from the output, I got myself a Y cable. I'm gonna go one line into this, the Tone King Imperial. And then I have another line going to the Ryra Elegante. So I have a mixture of beautiful 50s and 60s era tones in beautiful stereo. <laughs> Now you might be wondering why am I going reverb before the boost? Well, there's something particular about this pedal. This pedal works perfectly fine in mono mode, going mono in to mono out. When you're going in stereo mode though, uh, when you go input, you have to go stereo in. So stereo in and stereo out. You cannot do mono in, mono out. So that's one thing to be cognizant of uh, when you're setting this up on your board. Um, have a stereo pedal in front of it. Uh, in this case I have, yeah, the Skylar. And uh, let's go see what this thing sounds like, all right? So uh, you can use this pedal really straight ahead, like old school, turn the knob, get your dB boost. You can go up to 24. So let's go, I don't know, nine, a <laughs> big powerful boost. This is what it sounds like when it's off. <laughs> actually a very neutral, very crystal clear and quiet sounding boost. Uh, just neutral and lovely, all the good stuff. That's a lot of power we're <laughs> putting through the amps here. Now, uh, there are other modes, obviously, instead of just turning the old knobby here. Uh, the first mode being step mode, and what you can do there is you could actually choose a set dB of steps that you can go up and down. So the way we do that is we just press this little button over here, and then there's our step. So let's do like a nice 2 dB increment. I save it by holding onto this button here. And now, every time I press this, I'm gonna go up by 2 DB. If I want to go backwards, I just long press it.
Not only can I move up by steps, but I could choose the speed in which I go from one step to another. It could be immediate or have a nice kind of swell into it. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna press this. We're gonna do a bigger step here. We're gonna go 13 dB step. Let's go save that. And then on the other effect here, this button over here, that's gonna be our time. So if I press this button here, we have no delay, and then we can move it all the way up to a gradual smooth, all right? So let's go save that. And here that swell kind of take shape. Awesome. Awesome. Now those are really cool to step mode, but for me personally, I actually use the preset mode the majority of the time. And the way we get to preset mode is we just hold this button over here. And now we are in preset mode. We have three different presets we can choose from. You can even turn it into two just by pressing this button. And now we have two presets. And it's really simple. You can choose one volume, like say you just want a little bit of a boost for like single lines, and then you can set another one and you can do something more aggressive. So say for our first preset, let's just do like a 5 dB boost. We can save that by holding onto this. Move to our next preset, and then we can do a 14 dB boost. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be nasty. Here we go, hold that. So now I can turn it off. I can even switch between the the two modes when it's off, which is handy to get to where you need to be. But let's go see the different steps we can get from there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So those are the modes that you can use in mono, but there's one extra trick you can do only when you're in stereo mode. And that is, instead of having that dB affect both of your amps, you could actually choose a different amount of boost to each different output. So we could have one amp get more of a boost, one amp get less of a boost or vice versa. And I'll show you exactly how we do that. All you have to do, uh, we're gonna press bypass and this button over here just once. And now we're gonna switch into separate mode. We can choose different outputs per. So um, I'm gonna show you where this comes in really handy. I have the Skylar reverb, I'm gonna turn it on. And what I am doing with this output here, since it's a stereo reverb, I have this amp receiving way more reverb than the other amp. The tweed amp's gonna get more of a dry sound, but blended together when everything's equal, it's a lovely blend. <laughs> So what we can do now is we have presets here and we can have different presets to bring in different sounds, bring in more of the dry sound, more of that reverb amp. So let's say for preset one, I'm gonna hear more of the tweed amp, which is more dry, all right? So all I'm going to do is we have the two different amps here uh, based on color. So this one over here is the drier tweed amp. So let's give ourselves a boost of, I don't know, let's go six, all right? I'm gonna go save that. And then let's give it just a little bit of a boost on the other one. We'll go like one dB on the other amp. So I'm gonna press that to go blue. And now my reverby amp is gonna be just a one dB boost. So let's save that. Now for our second preset, let's do the opposite. We're gonna have more of the reverb amp, less of the dryer tweed amp. So we're gonna go here. And now I'm on the blue, which is the amp with the more of the reverb. So we're gonna move that up to six, save that. And then we're gonna go into the next amplifier and just do that one dB boost. So now we can get different sounds. If the pedal's off, we're just gonna hear equal blend for both. Yeah. 
first preset, more of the clean amp. Second preset, more of the reverb effect. And that is the Twin Boost by OPFXS. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on this pedal over here, the Twin Boost, you got to check it out on Patreon because that's where I do my reviews. All the Patreon uh, reviews are sponsored by the Patreon supporters. And that's where I give my opinions, the demos and tutorials and lesson stuff. It's right here on YouTube for free. Uh, my questions for the subscribers today is, I showed you a lot of different ways to use this. How would you integrate this pedal into your rig? That being said, I guess I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.